hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new then um hello i'm ashley i make videos on a sunday and a wednesday and they are hauls pregnancy updates um baking used to be slimming some something else shopping shopping hauls i've said that already this is my april favorites and i don't think i've done a favorites video since last year sometime last year so i thought um i'll update you all on the things that i have enjoyed using so i'm gonna start with cleaning products <laughs> um there are things recently i've discovered this one thing um thanks to mrs hinch you know we all we all really like mrs hinch and well most people do everyone i know does and she uses this spray and I found it in a and m and I took it home, started to use it and was like, oh my God, this is a game changer. So, Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster. Um, you need to make sure you leave a window open when using this because it is quite strong, but I spray it on my sink. So, I don't really like my kitchen sink because it's a white sink and I found it really difficult to clean. I always used Viacal for ages and um, I really like the smell of it, but it was never taking off everything. I still had like bits, like stained bits. Anyway, I thought I would try this one day, did the same, left it on a little bit, went to scrub it off. Oh my God, it was like pristine, like why? And it smells like swimming pools, like that kind of clean smell. Um, and and I, I rang my mum, I told her about it and she was, she was obviously not really that bothered. She was like, oh, I'm, I'm delighted for you, Ashley, that you found a spray that works well. You know, how sad. <laughs> but anyway, it's so good. Um, UK's number one. I, yeah, I think it is. Really like it. Um, another thing that I use quite a lot, like if I'm at home, I do my Lenore spritz around the rooms on my curtains, on my bedding, on my sofa, that kind of thing. Um, but I also go in all the rooms and I spray this thing 1001 carpet fresh now this is the pet eliminates pet odor or maybe oh it is it's the pet one i don't have any pets but um this must have been the one that i could find at the time thai orchid fragrance i don't even know whether it oh it does smell nice but i just give it a shake and a quick foam around everywhere in each room i just spray it in you don't need to um do anything with it, it just soaks into the carpet makes everything smell really nice and you don't need to hoover it up afterwards which is what I like because I don't really I don't do the hoovering especially at the moment because it's so heavy we've got a Henry Hoover and it's just too heavy for me to get out so Charlie does that um that is a blue job um my next one I'm absolutely delighted to be showing you um finally finally got my hands on a minky now I'm saying this is one of my favourites. I actually haven't used it yet because I just can't bear to stop it being new. But I'm so excited about it. So the minky cloth, the cleaning pad, I've got one upstairs in my bathroom, for my bathroom, um, and one, this is my one from downstairs that's gonna go in the kitchen. I haven't used either of them yet. But obviously, to do my sink and all that kind of thing, it'll be perfect. So I can't wait to start using it again. Mrs. Hinch brought these in. Well, they were going for, for a while, I think, but um, she's obviously, um, she started using them. Everyone bought them. They were sold out everywhere. And I got them the other day on the Minky website. Um, and I was so, so excited. So, yeah, great for washing up and wiping down. So I'm going to use that soon once I can, once I can, um, Bear to start getting it dirty but you know i can put my flora in i can put my sink to bed and do all that jazz um let's move on to food there's only one foodie bit um but i would definitely i mean this is these are always have always been my favorite things but because i've always been doing slimming world stuff i have never been able to eat them as much lately well for the last few years pop tarts woo, woo, woo. um frosted chalk tastic i love any um sweet flavour. I don't like the strawberry ones or the fruity ones. I just I just don't. But these are the cheaper ones that you can get in um like in Tesco for like 
two pounds, two fifty, two ninety nine, that kind of price range. Whereas some of them that are the imports from America are like five pounds a packet. And really, there's eight toast, eight pastries, toast pastries. That's what they're called in here. But you'd have two at a time, which I do. So um, I really like the chocolate ones. My favourites are the s'mores ones, the chocolate marshmallow. But I don't find them very often. Um, I've seen some in the garden centres and I recently tried ones which were half like half frosted brownie and half sugar cookie or ice sugar cookie they were nice but they they weren't I don't know chocolate the chocolate ones are just the one for me um other things so makeup I have always contoured for the last few years um I've always used a powder contour kit and I used to use this number number 17 or 17 from Boots and it has the lighter and the dark powder and then my last time I didn't buy that I bought a Barry M one and then I watched I think it was Lucy and Lydia's Get Ready With Me or something and they used stick contours or contour sticks <laughs> and I was like oh I'm gonna try them so I got these from Barry M so they came in a pack a two pack like this so it comes with the lighter shade and the darker shade and I don't know whether you could get different shades but like different yeah different shades but they they come with the light and the dark anyway and i don't know i just got these ones but these are called oh this is flawless chisel cheeks contour cream highlighter and then flawless chisel cheeks contour cream contour so i just get this one up here down my nose down there under my eyes and then this i just dot it around where you would put put it and then i have like a blending brush and i just quickly blend it it blends so easily into my foundation really good um yeah i i was going to talk to you about foundation because i have forever used estee lauder double wear i have tried various other ones over the years but i've always always gone back to that my color is pale almond if anyone is interested but i know it's an expensive foundation and with having a baby and all of the things that you have to buy for the baby I was like maybe I should maybe I should say try and save money on foundation so I bought um L'Oreal Infallible Matte and I, I read that it was like a dupe of double wear really and it was good it had great coverage but I get like an oily nose double wear is the only thing that'll stay on my nose and this one just didn't and also what I realised, what I didn't realise at first is when I was using the contour sticks, when I was blending it in it was actually just pulling off my foundation. I'm back to double wear now um, and it was actually 15% off when I got my new bottle and that meant that it was only 29.50 instead of 33.50 or whatever it's meant to be. Um, so yeah, so much easier to contour, it doesn't pull my foundation off anymore. Um, and yeah i'll be i will be using it for life because what i realize is i do a little cotton um bud stick thingy dip it in and that does my whole face i dot it on and then i blend it in with a brush and um like my my i spoke to my friend lauren about it and she was like i've used it forever and i only buy four bottles a year and two of them i get for birthday and christmas and i was like you know what i'm the same i'm i'm not ever trying anymore that is the one for me it always has been and always will um, my other thing that I've been using, kind of pregnancy related, is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Massage Lotion for Stretch Marks. This is what it is. It is so cheap compared to other stretch mark creams and things on the market. Um, Palmer's, I've always liked their stuff anyway. Like, I don't often buy it because I'm a Vaseline spray um, cocoa butter kind of girl. But this is really nice. I love that it's in a pump bottle, so it's so easy to put on. It it smells nice. It was like I think it's like three ninety nine, um, and it's just it's just really good. Like I, I, touch wood, I have not got any stretch marks yet, but it's still I'm still only twenty eight weeks, so we'll see. But either way, I, I can't. It's, oh, it says over ninety eight percent of women saw improved skin elastic, elasticity, texture, and tone. I mean, yeah, I don't know, but I put, I put it everywhere, I put it all over, um, and I really like it. Would recommend to people that need stretch mark stuff. 
Um, my other thing that I use that I wasn't sure whether I could use it at first, but um, I've looked on the Lush website and it all seems fine, is the Sleepy Body Lotion. So I've used this for a little while as well. Um, I used it before I was pregnant. I struggle sometimes to get to sleep or to stay asleep. And I would find that this has got like lavender and different things in it, I think. Um, yeah, lavender infusion, blah, blah, blah. But it says, before you pop on your PJs and slip under the sheets, dip into this dreamy lotion and smooth it over your entire body. And it just kind of calms me down and sends me into a nice sleep, I think. Dip into a dream painted in brush strokes of gentle oatmeal infusion and lavender flower. And it smells so nice. Like, oh, it's just lovely. So I just kind of put it on the tops of my arms and like on here, um, just before I go to bed. I don't do it all the time because I do forget, but um, that's really good. That's from Lush. I have got another tub of that somewhere as well. Another thing I have found recently is this fake tan. So basically, last Saturday night, I was going out for dinner with Charlie, my a few people from my family, and I was having my legs out. My legs are very pale. And I was like, oh my God, I need some fake tan. So I went into Superdrug and I bought this. So it's Soleil Mousse Express Dark Tan. Here it is, that's the bottle. Nice bottle as well, I really like it. It was 4 99 it lasts for days. It's for face and body. It's obviously um, has a colour in it so you can see where you're putting it on. And it's got a trop tropical scent. Like, it actually, it does smell quite nice, but so what you do is 60 minutes, so you put it on with a mitt, a tanning mitt, or however you put tan on. I always use a mitt, I find that easier. And then my friend Vicky used to use a sock. <laughs> um, so put it on, leave it on for 60 minutes. If you want it a bit deeper, you can leave it on for two to three hours, but no longer than that. Wash it off and then it develops over however many, I don't know, what's it say? Um... Over the next eight hours, it'll intensify a bit. So, I, last week, just left it on, I think I left it on for like an hour and a half, washed it off, and it was lovely. I was, honestly, I would totally recommend it. I am going to do it again. I'm going to try and, like, keep topping my tan up a little bit, because um, last year, naughty as it is, I did go on a few sunbeds, and just to try and keep my tan for my holiday and stuff. But, um, and I was, I was working outside a lot at work. But anyway... I love it, I think it's great that, um, and not very expensive. My other thing um, is this Primark Nighty that I bought. It's been so comfy. I did, this was shown in one of my hauls a while ago um, when I did a Primark haul, but it's it's just, it's a stripy cotton stra strapped bit of lace on it. Um, not too long, not too short. And it's just, it goes over my bump nicely, like, I just really like it, it's so comfy, and like, I've got this one, and I've got a, a one which is like grey with pink lace, and one of them, I have bought a new one in a bigger size actually to take to the hospital with me, and hopefully wear when I'm in labour, but I don't know yet, we'll just see, see what happens there. Um, but yeah, I'm so pleased with it. My last, but not least, thing is my pregnancy pillow. I have showed you this in my last pregnancy update. My lovely, lovely pillow that I kind of, it's actually not got a, a cover on at the moment because it's in, in the wash, so it's just drying now. But um, I put it on the bed, I wrap myself around it, I wrap my leg around it, and I tried to sleep without it the other night to give Charlie a treat so he can have a cuddle again. It's bless him, he is not a fan of the pillow. Um, but I couldn't bear to not have it. It just makes sleeping so much more comfy. Um, yeah, I would totally recommend it. It was off Amazon, it was 19 99 I will link things down below if I can find them. And um, yeah, that's my, that's my favourites. Oh, hang on, no. It's not, I'm not, I'm not done. I've got a few things to tell you of things that I've liked on the telly. So... Um, Netflix. Here's my Netflix recommendation. I'm sure people have already seen this or watched it already because I was a bit late to the party. But um, Dirty John. We watched Dirty John. We started watching it. We loved how it got straight into the story. Um, we really, really enjoyed watching it. 
I and I didn't realize it was based on a true story so we've got the um the documentary that is also on Netflix to watch like soon we'll watch it soon we didn't want to watch it straight after because we were like we've just we've all dirty johned out but it was really good um I've totally lost my list where did that just go have I just deleted it I've just deleted it by accident um my other thing that has been on ITV is the bay really enjoyed the bay um I'm saying it's on ITV maybe it wasn't on ITV whatever channel it was on it was really good um it was about twins that went missing um I won't go I won't go into it too much because I don't want to spoil it for anyone but if you can find it watch it because it was really good it's just finished the other day um and my last thing is the widow we um we I actually watched that on my own there's two more episodes to go I was saying to someone earlier that it is good but it's a bit slow not a lot seems to happen in every episode but it has got really good i have really got into it and i am looking forward to watching the last two episodes and see what happens um yeah th that is all my tv favorites i've just realized if you can see this this is because i've had a midwife appointment today and i've had some injections <laughs> so if you wonder what that is that bit of cotton wool i've got two on there so it she told me to leave it for a few hours so i've left it um that is my April favourites. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.